Heroes! And welcome back, another week in stall. Are you ready when that time starts ticking? Last week was really difficult. Do you remember who it was? Rahab! Yes! Now, this week, let's see if you can guess who this person is. He lived a long, long time ago. Are you ready? Start the counter! I was afraid, so I destroyed the idols at night. In the darkness. I am the weakest in my clan, but the angel called me a mighty warrior! Wonder who that could be. I asked for a sign to show that it was truly God speaking. I overheard a dream about body bread knocking the Midianite camp flat and that gave me encouragement. By faith I went into battle with just 300 men. Originally I had 32,000. Who am I? Well, if you guessed it, it was Gideon! Now we've got ourselves a super duper prize. We've got ourselves a wonderful, wonderful used mask. Um, if anybody wants it, they're more than welcome to collect it at the office. Till next time, from the Wheel of Heroes! So today, I want to tell you guys about another hero that we find in the book of Hebrews 11. And his name is Gideon. God called Gideon a mighty warrior. So where do you think we would find this mighty warrior? Would we find him in a nice house? Would we find him in the village telling hero stories? Or would we find him at the bottom of a wine press, hiding? Well, that's exactly where we find Gideon, hiding at the bottom of a wine press. And the reason Gideon was hiding was because he was scared of their enemies, the Midianites. You see, Israel was God's people. But they had moved away from God and they had started worshipping other gods like Baal. And so the Midianites had taken over Israel and they had been ruling over Israel for more than seven years. The crops that they had planted had been destroyed by the Midianites. Their cows and their sheep were stolen by the Midianites. And the Israelite people were crying out to God and wanting God to save them. So one day God sends an angel to Gideon and the angel calls him Mighty Warrior. And the angel tells Gideon that God has chosen him to lead the Israelite people to victory. But Gideon doesn't think he's worthy. And he tells the angel that he is the weakest in his clan and there must be a mistake. But the angel tells him to not be afraid and that God is with him and God will give him victory. But Gideon doubts. And so Gideon puts out a bowl of goat stew. And then a fire from heaven comes down and consumes the stew. And Gideon knows that it really is God speaking to him. But then Gideon is afraid. But again, the angel reminds him that God is with him. So Gideon goes to go and destroy the idols that the Israelites had built. But Gideon's afraid, so he goes at night. And then Gideon goes and he hides at his dad, Joash's house. Now the people of Israel are angry because their idols have been destroyed and they want to kill the man who did this. So they go to Joash's house and they knock on the door. But Gideon's father tells them that Baal will defend himself. And so the Israelites leave. You see, Gideon hadn't even faced the Midianite army yet, but yet the Israelites were already after him wanting to kill him. So Gideon was filled with fear. And again, Gideon says, Lord, are you sure this is what you want me to do? And so Gideon asks God for a sign. Gideon puts out a fleece. That's a piece of wool. He puts it out and he asks God that as a sign, the next morning the ground would be dry, but the fleece would be dripping wet. And the next morning it is. The fleece is wet and the ground is dry. Surely that would be enough for Gideon, right? But Gideon asks God for another sign. This time Gideon asks that the fleece must be dry and the ground must be wet. And the next morning, that is exactly what has happened. And Gideon knows that God is with him and God will give him the victory. So Gideon goes and he rallies up some men to be his warriors, to be his army, to go and take on the Midianites. Gideon gets together 32,000 men. But God says to Gideon, if he goes into battle with all of these men, the Israelites will think that the victory is theirs and not God's. So God tells Gideon to tell everyone that is afraid to go home. 
and only 10,000 men remain. But still, God says to Gideon, that is too many men. God tells Gideon to take the men down to the river and to see how they drink water. And if the men cup the water in their hands, Gideon should send them home. And only 300 men are left. Now at this point, Gideon's faith is really taking a wobble because the Midianite army is extremely strong, but they have also allied with some of the other nations. And so their army is incredibly fierce against only 300 men. But one night, God tells Gideon to go down into the Midianite camp. And Gideon overhears a conversation between two of the Midianite soldiers. And he hears how the one tells the other that he had a dream that a big roll of barley bread came down the hill and flattened their camps. The other Midianite soldier tells him that that means that God has given Gideon victory over the Midianites. Gideon was so overwhelmed, he fell down on his face and he worshipped God. Then God leads them into battle with only torches, clay jars, and horns. The army split up into three groups and they surrounded the Midianites. And when Gideon broke his clay jar and blew his horn, everybody else followed his lead and did the same. They confused the Midianites army and they started killing each other and running away. And those that ran away were captured by the Israelite soldiers. God had given them the victory. God had helped Gideon to be brave. But Gideon needed to remember to have faith in our faithful God. Hello guys, today I want to do a little demonstration that will hopefully remind you to have faith in our faithful God, even in the tough situations. And I'm sure you've had a few in your life. Imagine this flame is a tough situation. So if we look at Gideon's story, Gideon was told to lead an army and he had 32,000 men in his army. But imagine he did this without God's strength. That would have happened. So imagine now God told him, okay, and he made his army smaller. He told all the men who were afraid to go home. And then Gideon was left with 10,000 men. But he still, if he still didn't have God's strength and God's power, this would have happened again. But now he was left with 300 men. And they had all the tools, not the tools that you would expect, but they had God's strength, and they had God's presence, and they're filled with his power. So imagine now, they can do anything because they have victory in Jesus. Because they're filled with God. No matter what situation we're facing, no matter how tough it is, see the balloons not popping? When we're filled with God's spirit and filled with God's power, we won't pop in the tough situations. So the next time you see a balloon, I want you to remember to have faith in our faithful God. What do you know? Hey Faith Heroes, do you remember who our Faith Hero was today? It was Gideon. And Gideon taught us that even when we feel weak or scared, it doesn't change who God is. Because God is always faithful. Will you have faith in our faithful God even when you feel weak? Catch you next time.